I think the challenge for individuals is because the nature of employment is so different now and so short term, formal training and learning tends to be very reactive and, and short term and project based. So nobody, in, in the context of you owning your own career and having 20 jobs, there's nobody that's got their view on how you're developing broad skills to be a, you know, to be a great leader or to be a, a better at your role. They're giving you some skills to get this project done, but nobody's investing in your, your wider education except you. So I guess at the highest level, the change is that um, individuals are now much more responsible for their own development, but I think very often don't realise it or, enab- or, or feel enabled to do anything about it. And that ties in with lots of, um, you know, I, I write about the, the social agent, this sort of evolved relationship with knowledge. The, the um, our entire formal education system is being challenged by uh, collaborative technology and, and um, technology that gives us access to knowledge. But knowledge itself is, is, is kind of irrelevant. It's so easy to find out. Um, the, the differentiating skills are about your ability to create meaning from that, to interact effectively in communities, to do lots of different things, to, um, to, to provide support and challenge, to nurture, to provide a tempo to learning, um, to create subversive communities, all sorts of different areas. But it all comes back down to the individual. Um, so I guess that's the, the biggest change I see around learning. It's sort of moving out of the moving out to the control or the ownership of the organization more towards the individual. And we're seeing, you know, we're seeing lots of emergent uh, e- examples of that. We're seeing the whole university system being challenged by the, the MOOCs and, the, the, and such like. Um, and we're seeing lots of skills training being um, challenged by small startup enterprises. And I'm, I'm talking to someone later this week about a language teaching, a sort of gamified language teaching approach that they're, they're, they're looking at which really is a direct challenge to formal language training um, but because that's all they're going to do they're not trying to do a whole curriculum and a whole syllabus and run a whole school or university they've just got one idea to do one thing about language training it could be really good I mean, it might might not be but <laughs> it's there's probably a hundred companies trying to do it it's an evolutionary approach you know uh, so we're certainly seeing that big changes i guess in in the marketplace and in the experience of learning and the ownership of learning.